What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys, on one of the biggest pickup videos of all time. If you thought the Super Bowl video that I did a couple, like what, last week or whatever was big, this one is phenomenal. It was a two day event, basically. This is two days all into one. So make sure you guys sit back, relax, enjoy some snacks, uh, get a couple of packs, and uh, just enjoy yourself, man, and please watch the whole entire video. If you ain't gotta, if, if you gotta skip it, just, just skim through it, but just watch from the beginning to end if you can. Uh, I love you if you can't, and um, yeah, man, enjoy. I'll see you guys when we get back with uh, what we got. Yeah. this song we just pulled up to South Carolina we're in South Carolina we have 63 more miles until I think we get onto another freeway we got about two hours left on the drive I'm in South Carolina I've been driving for, for about an hour maybe actually almost two hours now um, and I left my suitcase I have no clothes but the clothes that are on my back I have a pair of pants in the back right there that have the Charlotte horns on it which are actually dope by the way I have two pairs of shoes so yeah my dumb ass left the suitcase at the house um, yeah, so we're gonna have to go to Walmart, buy some drawers, buy some deodorant, buy a toothbrush, toothpaste, and we're gonna have to buy some shoes and some clothes today to wear for tomorrow. However, I got some, like I said, some dope stuff in the back that I can, I have another outfit in the back. Somehow, some way, I just, I bought the stuff yesterday and I never put it in the house, so it's in my car, luckily. But yeah, that was the most dumbest thing ever. And uh, thank God this happened on a road trip rather than on an airplane trip because I would have been shit out of luck. But uh, yeah, so we have two hours left. I have no clothes but the ones on my back. And um, yeah, I'm dumb as hell. Let's keep going. Looking nice. Looking nice. Oops, set everything here. Looking nice. Oh. So yeah, guys, we're about to leave the hotel right now. We're actually headed downtown to Charlotte to the Mint Museum, I believe. Uh, Jordan Moran and Nike are having their little panel at 4 p.m. with Kimball Walker. We'll get a look at what they got inside. If there's anything we can cop, we'll try to cop something and uh, just have a good day today and just keep, keep the journey flowing. Keep it flowing. Yeah, Seth. Seth's in the good. What's, What's going, going on, on, man? How you guys doing? Press the button for uh, it. Yeah, let's do it. You can't really hear it out here. Oh, I hear it. <laughs> Get close. So, what, what's going on? Tell us what's going on today. Where we gotta go? What we gotta do? So, we're meeting Kimball Walker. I don't know if we're meeting Kimball Walker, <laughs> but he's gonna be there. And we're uh, just going inside, seeing what sneakers they have. I think it's just gonna be like displays. Okay. And it's gonna be like trying out these guys. Actually, shit, you wanna try them on? No, nah, well, let's go inside and let's, let's get. Cause I just wanna make sure we get in there smoothly without no problem. And yeah. go from there. So, they turned the Mint Museum into basically a Jordan and Nike Museum? Yeah. yeah All right, so we're gonna check this out, see what's going on, and uh, go from there. What's going on, man? What's up, man? Not much. How you doing? Yeah, big fan. Alright, we're gonna take one more shooter. One more shooter. Just one. I wanna, we wanna go, we go pick somebody young. So we're right now we're on the first floor. They got somebody shooting going on. I'm pretty sure this is where the panel will be at, right? Yeah, yeah. The panel will probably be right here around 4 o'clock. We're gonna go look at the Nike uh, BB, Adapt BBs right now, which is over here in this other corner. So, Seth, you can lead the way. So, oh, so, right now we're on the top. Aisle. This is the owner's gallery. The majority of this and all of this is Jordan brand stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Historical moments, historical shoes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit back, relax, and get some B-roll. Thank you. 
just dropped the Apex Jordans out here. I actually like these a lot. It's basically like a fly neck one with yeah. the Apex material or ape, uh, whatever, uh, rough, rip stop maybe, rip stop or some type of material on the upper. actually get a wristband that gives you access to go down to the sneakers pop up and be able to purchase it today. Okay. They don't release to the general public till the 17th. Yeah. But through this you can actually get a wristband. Okay. To get into the, the shop you're actually only going to be able to purchase these there. You won't be able to purchase anything else. What size you want to try on? Uh, how they fit you, pretty true. They fit true. You want to find a seat or yeah, yeah, yeah. if there's really any spots? I guess they're right here. Okay. Yep. So you got the two buttons that's going to be on the side and then you also have the app that you can use. So the L is going to be for the left, the R is going to be for the right. I'll let you get the full experience and hang on to that. So if you go up with the left, you slide it up and release it, it's going to start tightening. The higher you go up, the tighter it's going to get. The lower you go down, the looser it's going to get. option to preset it so that first button is going to actually do preset so once you purchase it you find a higher fit yep okay. so you find like a fit that you like you can preset that so that whenever you go to or whatever you're doing you can actually do it the second button is going to change the colors of the lights that are on the side of it so if you hold the button down as well it's going to bring up all the options is there a, a button to do both sides at once like kind of or uh not to do both so if you hit the far right button that's going to loosen it all the way up but there's not a way to do it okay. unless you just do both of them at the same yeah. time all the way up. At least just, that I know of. I'm just trying to figure out like how to like match it because they feel yeah. like pretty equal. Right. So, uh, not heavy at all. Yeah, awesome. Not heavy at all. It's crazy. You want to go ahead and grab a wristband today? Sorry. Balling in them though. Alright guys, so me and Seth right now are outside of social status and inside they have a pair of the Kyrie 5 yeah. rockets. Right? rockets. That's the ski shot. Yeah. yeah, collaboration behind it. They ain't going on right now too. Oh, 2K, that's 2K. Well, it's 2K. I thought it was 2K. That's 2K going on over here. So, so we're trying to see what's going on. What? The Kyrie Rockets are here. We might as well just grab a pair and, and keep it moving. Man. And they, oh, they have the Jordan 6s in here. They do? Ponies. Oh, yeah. shit. So we inside of uh, Social Status right now. They got the, the Pony 6s. Uh, and champi, champi, uh, cha, uh, cha, what the goddamn it? Chimpanzee nut sacks, <laughs> giraffe arteries, and all the above. They're not that bad, actually. The color is nice. Yeah, oh, we got Nike Air on the back, too? Oh, shit. Nike Air on the back? But Seth says, nah. So, pretty cool, though. They just sitting there. Everybody didn't get their hands on them. I think I'm going to pass, though. What you think? You going to pass? I'm going to pass. Got, got the, uh, these joints that are, are hideous, man. These shits are hideous. These are not. These are pretty dope. That, that purple color is what's doing it for me. The material is nice. The cow fur, the nut fur, whatever the fuck you want to call it. That purple. Steve Urkel. Purple. I don't want to fuck the flow up. Shit. So, look, we just bumped into. How you doing, sir? Just a random bumping, you know what I'm saying? Pause. What's on your feet, though? Uh, slight work. Oh, okay. So, we just doubled, uh, picked up another pair of things. Light work in my feet too. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, uh, 
we're we're in, we're in Kais' uh, place apartment. right now. Apartment. Can, 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 can you just record? I got you. Because Kais told me that he, he has something weird. Can, can you explain what happened? Because I don't know what happened. All right, so your boy took a W this morning, but I'm going to have to pass the W over to Tony yeah. because, you know, he hooked me up with some sneakers recently, so I got to hook him back up, and he just moved into his new place. So this is kind of like a housewarming gift. Um, so from me to you, this is the heir to your god. From an asshole. <laughs> oh! There you go. Nah. So the thing is, though, there was this is the last size. Yeah, so this is a seven and a half. Seven and a half. But they fit big. But they fit big, apparently. So. Kai saw it. He said, you know, you know, I've been wanting it, and then it's the light bone. Whew. So we're gonna have to see. <laughs> we're gonna have to just wait and see if if it, if it can fit. I mean, you, you guys all said it, right? Are you confident? Or are you are you still kind of nervous? For you? Yeah. I would say try it without the insole. Don't even give it a shot right now. No. Why not? I mean, yeah. Go ahead. Try it. It's really hard to put on and take off. Like I had to pull it off Lumina's foot earlier. It's hard. Once you once you slide in there, you're good. I need a shoehorn. The back, the back sort of like a shoehorn. Pull that back. Hold on. Loosen this. Maybe it's not meant. You know those laces don't do anything. No, you're not. You're right. You should. I can. I know it. This is the lockdown. <laughs> Look at her over there throwing on her shoes. Like, yeah. I'm almost there. Almost there. Is it this hard, guys? Yes. Yeah, that, imagine hard. taking it off. <laughs> God damn, Jerry, you didn't think about this? Okay, I'm at it. Yeah! Woo! What do you think? It's, it's there, but I could do it. I need to see how these look in the mirror. This It fits, though. It ain't yeah, breaking. I'm telling you, if you take the insole out, it'll be good. But what, the insole is really thick. It is really, but there's like the, the weird bumps, right? Like the air cushion, like running these your feet. It's visible, it's really visible. Weird right? now. I don't think I'm ever going to zip it up. Well, it's good because the zipper's great. That's what I heard. Yeah. God damn it. I'm telling you, can't set a point right now. I'm thinking like, I might need one of you guys to pull it off. Mina, I don't right, think right. you can do this, Mina. Oh, good, good, right. Yeah, let, me get, let me get a good shot of this. Thumbnail. Nina <laughs> trying to take her shoes back. <laughs> <laughs> You're not pulling, she's pulling it at the yeah, like off her foot. Here, shoe off. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry, what was that? Okay, oh. thank you. Okay. Oh, Meme this guy. <laughs> <laughs> sneaker has to be like, bro, this is a sneaker has to be like, see. You're trying to fit it on the slide, so. <laughs> Come on. You got like three of us pulling on it. God. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm ready to run. I'm gonna break his leg. Almost there. Oh. Oh. And then he'd be like, yeah, it fits. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take him. <laughs> I'll take him. <laughs> Yo, that is a first one. You gotta, right? you gotta do that. Bro. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Take it in the line. I got hot, bro. I got hot. I gotta take off my shirt. God damn. Like you can see that whole oh, unit. Yeah. Alright. Do it again, man. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be easier this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it slides. I just don't want to rip nothing. <clears throat> oh, I'm like a person now. That's right. That's yeah, I'm right. a person. I, it ain't, my foot ain't even touching the tip no more. Yeah, it, that, that, mids, that insole is thick. Should I even zip this bitch up? You don't have to. I don't do it on mine because it's broken. <laughs> what I do is I put the longer laces on it and I wrap it oh, up. Oh, that's dope. Those laces are longer? Uh, yeah, it comes with uh, it comes with four or three laces and then you get all this stuff. Those look really good. It's like a fucking it's super like, sandwich. When I was Either opening this, you know, uh, super sandwich. astronaut food? This is what I felt like it was astronaut food. Yeah, yeah. I've never had it, but I know what you're talking about. Thank you, sir. Gotcha. Enjoy. Thank you, Nina. This is really me laughing. Like, yeah. Nina, because right. this is fun. <laughs> Good luck to your girl trying to get those off your feet every time you wear them. Yeah. I was really thinking that, like, how are you going to get some of those, you know? You have, you have to buy one. Just don't take them shoot, off. Just don't shoot <laughs> Just don't never take them off. So yeah guys, we're right now downtown in like a little center. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. A whole bunch of people waiting to go inside the Mitchell and Nestor. 
right now. Hopefully we can get in with no problem. There's a ton of people, tons of lines, tons of drinking, having fun, and a lot of NBA stuff going on right now. And I'm gonna show you real quick. So this is everything. Tons of people in and out. I think we're supposed to be going straight in here. I don't know, somewhere in here is the NBA fan store or something like that. So we got some of the, uh, this is 19 no and four, so this is. Just different lifestyle product that represent different years. So 96, you know, in San Antonio, yes, a lot of, of the teal and the pink. Yep. Um, we got D Brown, he won the dunk contest last time it was in Charlotte in 1991. All right. So they had a picture of him on there as well, yeah. Yeah, a picture on the back. It's dope, dope. Then you got like the 96 All-Star satin that jacket. That was not, yeah, All-Star weekend. Premium satin, lightweight material. Then another one. I think this is 95? 2003. 2000, oh, 2003, okay. Shaq this one is like the, the old school Jordan one. That's, That's what I was like. Yeah, okay. Bro. Shaq this is Daddy. Dope, like short sleeve. Yeah. And you know you got the headwear, different All Star. Nice, nice. It's another San Antonio right here. Scotty, yeah, this, this Scotty Pippen. Right here. 96 again. Scotty Pippen. You know, that color combo yeah, is crazy. Yeah, I know. That teal and uh, I remember the, uh, I always loved the, um, what was it called, the, uh, the Sean Kemp Kamikazes that went with those? Yeah, oh my yo, god, so the Al, Al, uh, what was it called, the Alcamo, right? Al, Alamo? Alamo, 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 yeah. Nice, nice. So you see the view over here? Yeah, this is where it gets crazy at. That's the shared MVP with, I think the shared MVP, the MVP with Shaq, this I want to say. 2009. I want to oh, say him and Shaq had the MVP together. I, I want to say that, that jersey. I think so. Because it may have been Shaq's last All-Star game. Yeah. Right? And yep. Maybe they won it. And they won together and it was in the East. I mean, in West. I mean, and that's the Iverson East. when he was on Detroit. Okay. Ooh. Classic ones once again. The, yeah, this is the, these are the real ones. 93, yeah. 91. Low, again, that's the last time it was Lower sizes because it's very big. <laughs> they've been eating them up. They've been eating them up. Yeah. That's no. the 96 one. You know, people love that one. Yes. The hats to go with it, Shaq. Two new pieces right here. The Ooh. rookie versus sophomore game. Yep. When Westbrook played against Durant. Westbrook Durant. Close something. It's amazing. The purple colorway is super fresh. Some more the hats. hats. And you know you got the Papa shot. Yeah. You wet one up. Uh, no. There's one. There's one off the rip. There's one. I'm, I'm sure make it special. Make it special. Ah. Make it special. Just make it special. Just make it special. Oh, it's almost there. Yeah, third time. Let's make it special for me, please. Yeah. Money, money. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's, it has a tailored fit to it. Just spin around quick. What you say? Yeah. Tony, <laughs> Tony, you like it? You like it? You like to look slim? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's slim it. Gym. That's it. You don't want the floater. You want that slimmer. So I just got here this nice Alamo jacket right here, silk. Also, I think I'm gonna be getting another jacket from Michelin as they having a little private little event. A lot of exclusive items in here. You know, Malcolm's getting his little pieces here and there. Cash got some pieces. DJ got some pieces. And, uh, shout out to Mitchell Ness, man. Really nice event going on. Very low key, though. Very low key. Yo, so we got back inside of the Nike event. You shout out to 23 Cartel. If you're watching this, I appreciate it. Hey, man, yeah, here you go. I was just shouting you out, man. Shout out to the homie right here for getting me in, man. What's up? That's my guy right here. I know, man. He helped me get us in there. We're trying to kick everybody out, but. I was looking at him like, I didn't know you were talking to me or not. Yeah, but man. shout out to the homie right here, man, for sure, man. I appreciate Already. it. Man. What up, man? Yes, sir. So we uh, wait here. KD should be coming up pretty soon for a panel. Cash is just trying to get a brush and brush his hair a little man. bit. Man. <laughs> you know? I ain't about to brush, though. But uh, we just waiting and uh, see how I do. The Adapt BBs are over there, by the way. So yeah, guys, we picked up plenty of pieces. We spent about around a grand or so on everything when it's all tallied up. And what we got here, man, and first was some stuff from Michelin S, which consisted of this Michelin S jacket right here this is from all-star weekend this is a throwback though this is back in i think 1991 let me see all-star weekend san antonio 96 96 this is the 96 this is the alamo one of the famous you know colorways of all all-star weekends one of the famous jordan jersey sean kemp um you know even they made kamikazes after this colorway one of my favorite just colors of an All-Star Weekend in 96, I was five years old, so as far as remembering it, I, I don't quite remember it as much, but I mean, I've seen the highlights, I just don't remember it personally. 
but I got this jacket from Mitchell and Ness, which was gifted to me. So a huge shout out to Mitchell and Ness. A lot of stuff is coming in the future with them as well. We also though got a very special jersey, and this jersey retails at $155, All Star East, and it's basically like the All Star East jersey, but it's like it's kind of like this has like a different look to it. Look, NBA All Stars 30, and this is a Scotty Pimpin. What you see his picture of his name and whatnot, 96 East 30, something that would definitely be framed in the new room. And this is all stitched, by the way. It's all like stitched in, tackle twill. So it's, you know, it's 100, it's official. So huge shout out to Mitchell Ness. As you may have seen, you know, they invited us to a VIP experience and we went and checked them out and they want to do some work with me down in the future. So huge shout out to them on that. And just be on the lookout for more and more with them. Next up, we got right here from Social Status. I went and saw Social Status. They had the Pony 6s. They had a lot of stuff in various sizes. Some things were sold out. But I told you guys for quite some time that I was going to have to jump the gun and pick up a pair of these eventually. And this was the colorway that did it for me. Retail is $140. Kyrie 5 All-Star TV. This is the Kyrie 5 Rocket collaboration. And they were doing the Rocket Skate Shop was at that... Uh, that little, um, they were at the uh, event that we saw, the Nike event that was outside the, like, block party. That's what it was, a block party. These colorways are phenomenal. It's not something that's gonna be easily matched, but I just love it overall. I can rock it with any, I can pull off my vault sample shirt, uh, you know, crew neck that I got and rock it. I can rock it with the gray. I can do any color, I just pick one color. It don't have to be everything together. But overall, these are just solid. You got the white laces, everything about it. Amazing, amazing. Next up we got here, one of my my favorite pickups of All-Star Weekend. I mean, of course the last one is like the greatest, but this one is just, it just the shoe overall, the, the technology behind it. I'm a big time tech head, tech nerd, geek nerd, if you know that or not. You know, we got the Nike Adapt BB, and I'm just looking forward to it. And the price point, 350 buckaroos, which is very, very high, don't get me wrong, but, for what you get, it makes a lot of sense. Here's a charging pad. You got in here the charging cables and whatnot with a little bit of a, with the little instruction manual and all that. So we'll you know, be having that set up in the, in the studio very, very shortly. And then we got ourselves here the actual shoes. I picked up a size eight and a half, which was highly recommended to me. They're full of charge. That, that green means it's charged. So I gotta go ahead and set them up on a Bluetooth, but they are fully charged. The green means it's charged and all that. And I'm uh, gonna we'll put these on, put some wear in them, probably do a review, my thoughts and opinions. Stay tuned on that. This shoe is already released, so it's kind of late to do the review. However, you know, I know you guys, if you wanna see it, if you don't mind seeing that, just let me know. I'll throw something together real quick. I mean, I'm very, very behind on that. You know, everybody was able to get pre-orders, get them early. I'm so far behind, it might not even be a purpose to do it. But if you guys really want it, I'll make it happen. I'll make it happen. And then last but not least, I got some socks, you know what I'm saying, from Walmart, because because my my dumb self forgot my whole luggage, you know what I'm saying? And that's the end of the video. I'm out. Peace, I'm playing. Now, my last but not least, man, I picked up something very, very, very special, which was given to me from a good friend of mine, Kais. Kais Omar. Some of you guys love him. A lot of you guys hate him. But he looked out for me, man. Housewarming gift. I've been wanting a pair of these so bad. Never, I, I kind of already had just, you know, given up, just like moving on. Really didn't think I was gonna get them. Um, but he had got the last pair that was available in a size seven and a half. Now, I was like, what the hell? I can't fit that, bro. He's like, trust me, they run a little bit big. So I tried them on. It was a, too crazy to take them off. I had to take the insole out. But taking out the insole, these things fit perfect. They're perfect on my foot. Yes, I have a foot, small size foot, but everything else ain't small. Trust me, don't worry. Nikki's fine. But yeah, I mean, overall though, couldn't ask for a best get better gift, man. Shout out to Kais once again. You know, I helped him out with the sixes and he returned a favor and uh, swag with the swaver, you know what I'm saying? 350 buckaroos for these. If you haven't even released yet, what else can I ask for? So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you slap a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And guys, please go and check out the Panini video that I will be uploading, or if it's already uploaded, I will link it down below in the description. Go check that out. 
It was a video that was sponsored by them. They flew me, I mean, they didn't flew me off. I drove out there, but they invited me into a very special moment. And just, you know, the more the more response we get from videos like that, the more we're gonna be able to get in depth and in tune and doing crazier stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, basically, my success comes from you guys. And when, the more success we get, you know, the more success that is able to be brought to the channel, the more stuff we're gonna be able to keep getting and capturing moments like that. So, if you get a chance, check it out, you know, and I just greatly appreciate it. If you can't, still love you. I don't, it don't mind me. But just know that anything, anytime I post something that's sponsored by some brand or something like that, and you guys thumb it up and show support, all you're doing is helping me being able to enhance what I'm doing. And right now, you're watching probably one of some of my final videos in this house, which I'll be moving to my next house on Saturday, and that's because of you. I started at one place, I got here, and it's all because of the support you guys have given me and everything that I have gotten, like, you know, what, whether it's monetary or sponsored or whatever, I've tried to bring it in and, and put right back out what I get in, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's camera equipment, you know, editing equipment, and new studio setups, better looks, all that, man. Like, I just really appreciate the love and support that some of my, I don't like to call you guys fans family at the end of the day. I never really called you guys fans. I would say you're a fan of my work, but I just I just feel like at the end of the day, you guys are my supporters. And uh, I really appreciate that, man. And it's your boy Tony D2 while I'm checking in. I'm checking out. More coming soon. Peace.